Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Tubby little Tubby all stuffed with pluck. He's Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Willy nilly silly old bear. Pooh, Now the hundred acre wood boasted many natural wonders, but none was more beautiful than a tiny stream running through the forest. This particular stream had a very long way to travel. And by the time it reached the edge of the forest, it had grown up so it was almost a river. Being grown up, it said to itself, there is no hurry, we shall get there someday. Now crossing the river at its most peaceful spot was an old wooden bridge. It was a familiar spot to Winnie the Pooh, for he would often wander there, doing nothing in particular and thinking nothing in particular. But on the most recent of these excursions, something took his mind off of nothing. Hmm, this is a very good fur cone, and something ought to rhyme to it. Think, think, think. Now, fir cones belong in trees, up high with the buzzing bees. But this one I found down on the ground, freed by a gentle breeze. Oh, bother. I suppose I shall have to find another one. Pooh had every intention of getting another fur cone, but the river was slipping away so peacefully beneath him that he began to slip away with it. That's funny. I dropped it on the other side, and it came out on this side. Hmm. I wonder if it would do it again. I wonder which will come out first. Well, the big one came out first, and the little one came out last, which was what Pooh wanted. I did? Yes, Pooh, and that was the beginning of a game called Pooh Sticks. Which I invented. Now one day, Pooh and Piglet, Rabbit and Roo were all playing Pooh Sticks together. But why call it Pooh Sticks? I thought I started with fur cones. You did, Pooh, but sticks were easier to mark. Oh, yes. Now I remember. <clears throat> now, one day, Pooh and Piglet, Rabbit and Roo, were all playing Pooh sticks together. Uh, all right. Now, now, the first stick to pass all the way under the bridge wins. Now, on your marks, get set. Roo, we must all start together. Oh dear, now where was I? Oh, oh yes. On your marks, get set, go! I can see mine! I win! I win! Can you see yours, Pooh? No, I expect my sticks stuck. <sighs> they always take longer than you think. Oh, I can see yours, Piglet. Mine's a sort of g -g 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 grayish one. Yes, that's what I can see. It's coming over to my side. Come on, stick, stick, stick! In a wondrous place known as the Hundred Acre Wood is a bear named Winnie the Pooh who has had many grand adventures, and, if I am correct, I believe we have just enough time to see one. One day, Pooh gathered with his friends, Rabbit, Piglet, and Roo, on the old wooden bridge to race their poo sticks in the river below. Eh, all right now. Now the first stick to pass all the way under the bridge wins. Now on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> I 
Can you see yours, Pooh? No. I expect my stick's stuck. Mine's a sort of g g g grayish one. Yes, that's what I can see. It's coming over to my side. Come on, stick! 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 Are you sure it's mine? It's a big gray one. Here it comes. A very big gray. Oh, no, no. It isn't. It's... it's... Eeyore! Eeyore. Don't pay any attention to me. Eeyore, what are you doing down there? Give you three guesses. Fishing. Wrong. Going for a sail? Wrong again. Waiting for somebody to uh, help you out of the river? That's right. I've got an idea. If we all threw stones and things into the river on one side of Eeyore, the stones would make waves, and the waves would wash them to the other side. That's a very good idea. I'm glad we thought of it, Pooh. Uh, Pooh, I think a little to the left, Pooh. Uh, no, no, to the, to the right, yes. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, now. Oh, dear. Perhaps it wasn't such a very good idea after all. There he is! Your plan worked, Pooh! Everyone was very relieved to see Eeyore safely out of the water. So to celebrate, they all gathered on the old bridge to race their poo sticks. Good friends together, all having good fun on another day in the Hundred Acre Wood. It's that time of year again for Pusik players from across the country to come together and compete in the World Championships. Richie Gray, aka Winnie the Pooh for the day, told me about the annual event. The Pusik Championship is an international event where friends, families, adults and children around the world can come together and play the great game that is Pusiks. It's important because it brings everybody together. Everybody knows about Pusix and knows it's a great game and, and everyone comes together to play and to enjoy the sunshine and the food, the drinks and the great atmosphere. Richie told me some of the history behind today's event. The World Pusix Championship has been going for 33 years now. This is the 33rd year. It first started off at Day's Lock back down in Little Whittenham uh, by the local lock keeper and it grew and grew into a big event which was then uh, handled by the then Rotary Club of Synodon and after a period of time it was handed over to the Rotary Club of Oxford Spikes. And once the Pooh Sticks became so big that it just could not be contained in Little Whittenham, we decided to go searching for a new location last year and Whitney uh, has been fantastic for giving us a brand new home. One man believes that he knows the perfect formula for the perfect poo stick. Well, there's two schools of thought about that. On the one hand, it's a game of luck. And on the other hand, it's a game of skill and trying to find the right size poo stick. In fact, there is a professor, um, Professor Reese Morgan, who came up with the perfect poo sticks formula. Uh, sometime last year, I think. It's so different and unique. And one of the most important things is everybody can take part in it. It's, it's, it's accepting to everybody, and everybody just loves the stories of Winnie the Pooh and everything that it symbolizes. It's a great family thing. Every penny from this event, every penny of profit from this event will go towards various different groups and various different charities. It's a, well, the main activity starts off at 12 o'clock, give or take, with the team games. We've got 20, ga we've got 20 teams taking part in the championships. And then once that's all finished, it's the individual games, where from one o'clock to five o'clock, everybody is all hands on deck, everybody plays the game until at the very end, we announce the winner of this year's Poostick Championships. Scott Morgan, for that's Oxfordshire. Crowds flock to Cogs Manor Farm Bridge in Whitney for the 32nd World Poo Sticks Championship. Originally held in Little Whittenham, the event relocated for the first time due to an increase in popularity. Run by Oxford Spires Rotary Club for the past six years, club member and event organiser Richie Gray told us more about the event which attracted as many as 800 competitors. Well, the main purpose of the World Poo Stick Championships is to find out who is the world's greatest poo stick player. 
which is a combination of skill, a combination of luck, or whatever you happen to believe in. But the main point of it is to bring the community together. It's a great family outing, uh, kids of all ages, adults of all ages playing the game. And one of the big things is it's about raising money and raising funds for various different charities, which the Rotary Club of Oxford support. Rotary International is a it's a global organisation which is about community which is about service. It's about giving service back to the community, whether it be volunteering hours or actually raising funds by a variety of different ways. And there are hundreds, if not hundreds, hundreds of clubs all over the UK alone. In our particular case, Ox the Rotary Club of Oxford Spires, we are helping the local Oxford charity Aspire, which is a charity all about helping people in unfortunate backgrounds and situations get back into employment. Despite the light-hearted nature of the competition, there still had to be a winner. And it was James Smith of Longhambra who was declared ultimate Poostick champion 2015. Winnie himself even made an appearance, with the support of his friends of course. One participant who was particularly excited to be united with her hero was the current Guinness World Record holder for Poom memorabilia, 12,814 to be exact. Deb Hoffman, who flew in from Wisconsin in the United States to be at the event. She told us about her love of A.A. A. Milne's furry character and how the championships didn't disappoint. It, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be and, and it's so much fun because sometimes, you know, I'm in my little house in, 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 the, in Wisconsin and I think, well, I'm probably the only Winnie the Pooh nut in the world and this is fantastic to see everybody that's come out to play Pooh Sticks Bridge this is this has just been amazing he's just he's just simple he's he's friendly he's just thoughtful and I think sometimes those are characteristics that that we've lost in life and so Winnie the Pooh is almost like going back to a simpler friendlier time so so I, I just love that that just it just mean, means a lot to me Everything that I've ever experienced that, that is related to Winnie the Pooh, the people have always just been so fantastic. And so I, I feel like I've made friends here that'll, that'll last forever. And I, I think that says something about Winnie the Pooh as well. Undoubtedly, Deb wasn't the only one to feel Pooh's positivity at yesterday's championships. The local community united in this simple pleasure in the picturesque country setting. And the good weather certainly didn't hurt either. This is Jessica Wakefield for That's Oxford. Hello and welcome to Hundred Acre Wood, where Winnie the Pooh lives and where he invented the game of Pooh Sticks. This is a small book full of fun facts and figures about that game, and this, what you're watching now, is a short film about how to play it. Ooh, a caption, how thrillingly formal. Right, the first thing you need to play Pooh Sticks is a bridge. This is a very yesy Pooh Sticks bridge. It's just the right height, it really is very bridgy indeed, and it's got a lovely river flowing beneath it. It is the perfect Pooh Sticks bridge, and so it should be, because it is in fact the official Pooh Sticks bridge here in Hundred Acre Wood. Now, before we go on, quick note of caution. Like any game involving bridges, water, and potential folly inniness, and yes, that is a real word, children must take care while playing poo sticks. So perhaps any parents, grandparents, or other grown-up adult type people might like to supervise and make sure everyone's all right. You could even join in. It'll be health and safety gone fun. The stick is your waterborne thoroughbred. It's your damp, wooden Usain Bolt, your pointy Rebecca Adlington. You have to consider shape, weight, thickness, length. It's very, very complicated. So, you've got your bridge, you've got your sticks. What comes next? Well, you all hold your sticks over the river and at a prearranged signal, you drop them. Sounds easy, and it is but it must be a drop. No throwing. For example, this is cheating. This 
is also cheating and ultimately self-defeating. You just hold them and drop. Which brings us to... The key to this is what pace to go at. This is probably a bit too much like you're trying, whereas this is maybe a bit too much like you're not trying at all. The ideal pace is eager yet sensible. Midway between a sprint and a saunter. Let's call it a spraunter. Once you're across the bridge, all you have to do is look over the other side and see whose stickers come out first. That person is the winner. Huzzumble for them. Now, I'm afraid that Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, Kangaroo, Rabbit, Owl and Christopher Robin couldn't join us today, but they have been kind enough to lend me their sticks. Here they are. This is Kangas, a nice sensible stick. Rabbits, very military stick this one. This is Piglet, small and sweet, just like him. And this is Ruse, even smaller and sweeter. Ah, now this one is Owls. Virtually brimming over with wisdom, this one is. Yes, what a wise stick. And now we have Tiggers. Oh, 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 what a bouncy stick. So bouncy, so bouncy, I can barely control it. Christopher Robin's stick. Eeyores, as you can tell if you listen very closely. Yeah, that's definitely Eeyores. And finally, the quintessential poo stick. It's Pooh's own stick. Ah, oh, what a great stick this is. And Oh, and what a sticky stick it turns out he probably eating honey when he picked it. It really is a very, very sticky stick. So, here they are. Let's get to the actual race. Hello and welcome here to the Pool Stick Steaks. Mmm, steak, delicious. Look at those sticks all lined up waiting for the off. They really have been training very hard all year and now they're at the peak of stick fitness or stickness. Just waiting for the starter's orders and they're off! Well, all, all apart from Pooh's stick, which was very sticky from white honey. And, oh no, no, now he's in, now he's in. And he's rapidly catching up the others. And as they head towards the bridge, they're making good ground, or should I say good water. And they are under the bridge where they go in neck and neck, or should I say stick and stick. Oh, this is all jolly exciting. I don't know what's going on under the bridge. We couldn't afford bridge cam, but I'm sure it's exciting with them all jostling position and just being sticks in the water. How marvellous. And will they come out the other side? So, yes, yes, no, 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 my mistake. That was just a ripple in the water. Still got to wait a bit. No bridge cam, like I say. And oh! Here they are! Who's this out first? Yes, it's Pooh! Pooh in first place, followed by Piglet Stick in second place, and Christopher Robin in third with Tigger way back in last. Probably got distracted by something, bounced himself out of the water, did something silly. Still, there we have it. It's Pooh, Piglet, Christopher Robin in that order, and I will see you shortly at the medal ceremony with a slightly different voice. Congratulations. How does it feel to have won? I forgot. You're a stick, you can't speak, can you? Still, well done anyway. So, happy poo sticking, and of course, careful poo sticking. Thanks for watching, bye.